friends. I'm gonna paint a couple cardinals on the little four by four canvases. Um, I'm hoping to get them done in time to take them to the galleries. And there's a saying that goes something like, when cardinals are near, or no, when cardinals appear, loved ones are near. And so cardinals sell well, people really like them. I'll set up a traceable too if you aren't comfortable drawing. Let's get started. I have my little four inch by four inch canvases stretched. I wrote the word love on them. This one with some blue chalk pastel. And this one you can barely see it with watercolor pencil. So they're the usual four inch by four inch canvases that I use. And then I'm going to use really love Prussian blue, love Liquitex. One of the great things about Liquitex is you can stand them up on their lids so the paint stays down as it gets to be towards the end, the paint stays down towards the end of the tube, stays fresh, easy to store. I really like that part. Um, so I have a little bit of Prussian blue, a little neutral, neutral gray five, some unbleached titanium, uh, and titanium white. And then I wanted to show you, so this is, uh, titanium white. Oh, hang on a second. I'm going to take a drink. Sorry about that. My voice is starting to get scratchy. So this is a big blob of titanium white and then just, oh, maybe a little more than that. You can see how I just kind of swiped out. Go really slow. The Prussian blue is really strong. So I just grabbed a little bit and put it in there. And then this, I'm hoping you can see the difference on the video, is titanium white, a little little Prussian blue, a little bit of neutral gray, and maybe about a third, I don't think it's quite a half, of unbleached titanium. And actually, I think I'm going to add a little more. So I'm looking for a warm bluish gray, just for fun. You could use that blue. You could use any color you want. I'm going to be painting cardinals here. Oh, I didn't print out my traceable. You guys, I thought I was ready. I haven't made the traceable yet. So we'll get the background painted and then I'll come back with that. And I'm just gonna use, I think, a, oh. So when they sit in water too long, the wood expands and then the paint pops off. It's, it says it's a flat shader. I don't know the size, but there it is against my thumbnail. And I'm just looking actually might put a little bit of white on here. I'm going to get my brush wet. I think I'm going to move my water so I don't reach right in front of the camera all the time. So with all that chalk on there, it's going to pick up, pick up the blue. And I think I picked up a little bit of broken paint from my brush there. So I think we'll put a little white on here. All right, you can use, use the watercolor pencil. It dissolves, you don't even notice it's there. I just wanted it to show up on camera. But here you can kind of see the difference. It's kind of a grayish, warmish, grayish, bluish color. So I'm gonna have a red cardinal and I want it to be for spring. So I'm thinking white flowers and a branch. I've got the, my reference photo is a cardinal with a branch. So I'll be back when I have the traceable and I have this painted. Here's my traceable. It's four inches by four inches and I, um, it's, to, it's to scale, but you could print it out larger or even smaller if you wanted to. Um, they're on my, the traceables are on my website. I have them in different categories so you don't have to look through them all. And I suggest you send a dollar, but if you need to, download it for free. Okay, and then I thought you might want to see how pretty, just soft and pretty, the background is. Kind of looks like marbled paper. Let me know what you think of the background if you like that. 
take a look. So I traced both canvases. I used the traceable on both canvases. This one got a little low and a little off. But I think it might be okay. Plus the orange is a little light for videoing. So then I scribbled on the back of it with some more with some red. This is chalk pastel. I just I bought a inexpensive box of like 24 colors for maybe five or six dollars. Um, kids chalk will work. I just like the chalk pastel because it comes with more choices. But I think this one is definitely better. It needs a little cleaning up. I'm I'm debating. I might wash this off and and try and do this one again. This looks better. So I wiped the orange off with a paper towel. And then I also used an old rag, but I didn't want to use any water because these, I painted the background not even an hour ago. So it'll, the, the odds of it reactivating the surface dry paint are pretty, pretty good. I didn't want to risk it. And then I broke out a new kneaded eraser, which I've showed you in several videos, but I thought I'd show you. So this was an older one and I could still use it. Um, they just start feeling sticky. Um, sometimes they're, I don't know, they kind of start to smell. <laughs> so I just thought I'd treat myself to a new one, but they take, whether they're old or new, you've got to need them to sort of, sort of like a silly putty, just to sort of warm them up, loosen them up, soften them up. There we go, soften them up. That's the word I'm looking for. And then I'm just gonna kind of lighten and clean up. And then I'm gonna set my palette up and we'll start painting. Okay, I was gonna show you a couple things that I did. I just, that's basically like a letter C. I'll hear if we do it this way, a letter C, just to continue the tail onto the bottom. And I did it with a, a charcoal pencil and then I continued the branch onto the sides mostly so I don't forget to paint it because I start painting and I don't really I don't know I kind of forget where I'm going or I'm not paying attention to what I wanted to do I kind of get in the moment and then I put out some Mars black and burnt umber Oh, actually, maybe I'll just leave that there. That's not a ton of burnt umber, and I'm gonna put a little, can you see that? A little Mars black in there. So what I'm thinking is um, everything's muted, and then I'll probably paint straight out of the tube red cardinal. So you get some contrast that way. You have muted colors and then a pop of, of reds. And I don't know if I have enough brown out there. Although I'm going to put, I also put out some more titanium white. So I'm also kind of looking to see what color that looks like on the white palette. You know what, maybe we'll put a little uh, white in it. We'll be able to see what it looks like. Let's see, is that off camera? Oh yeah, I kind of looking for a brown gray. Maybe just a pinch more. Black is so strong. That Prussian blue is really strong too. Well, that isn't that much. Well, we'll start painting and see how far that goes. And I think, oh, I don't know if you can hear the kids yelling outside, school's out. <laughs> oh, and it's beautiful here in Omaha. We went from minus 23 degrees one morning, gosh, I don't know if it was even two weeks ago, and now it's in the low 60s. I mean, it's just crazy. It's gorgeous out there though. Okay, I'm gonna start painting.
Hey friends, I'm done. I think I videoed every step of this one. Uh, I'm gonna make it a time lapse so you can uh, slow it down or pause the video, take a screenshot, whatever you want to. But I hope it shows you that um, sometimes I see in the beginning acrylic painting groups on Facebook. I mean, they've done a great job painting, but they've only maybe painted a layer or two. And sometimes it just takes three or four layers or, you know, and then like these flowers, I kind of put blue and I put some uh, white with some uh, matte medium. And then I kept making them lighter and then I made them a little darker. You know, you just kind of keep pushing it up and down in value just to make it more interesting. Same with like the, the toes. Oh, there's the bottom. So I hope this helps. Um, you know, learning, practicing drawing can help too. Learning to draw can really help. Um, understanding shading, all those kinds of things really help. But also just painting and then painting again and painting again because you'll find things that you like to do. Um, things that you like to see in a painting. And I think I'm gonna make these a little bit brighter because it's kind of empty up in this corner. Just make it a little more, a little more brighter white there. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, post them in the comments. Let me know what you think of this one. I'm going to put a traceable on my website. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really appreciate you spending your time with me. It's been so fun. I've made a couple, more than a couple new friends through YouTube and of course Facebook. I really, really love that. Great big art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.